Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new hello and welcome my name is Chelsea so in today's video I am going to be talking about my placenta previous story so for those of you who don't know I had placenta previa my whole pregnancy I delivered with placenta previa yeah it was a nightmare so um I know what it feels like to be scared I know what it feels like to be alone dealing with all this especially if it's your first child and I just want you to know that you're not alone a lot of women go through it and um I'm going to be sharing my story so that maybe it can comfort some people or I don't know I just I just want you guys to know that you're not alone and it's going to be okay all right so we have a guest star on today's video this is oh yeah let's throw up <laughs> This is my love. This is the love of my life. This is my sunshine. This is Katerina. Say hi. Say hi. So she is three months and a couple days. Um, I just thought it would be pretty cool to have her in the video because, you know, this is all about her. Our pregnancy was all about her and her little feistiness. Okay, so let's start off with my whole pregnancy. So originally i wanted to do a home birth i wanted to do a water birth um hospitals scare me to death i actually had my grandmother passed away in a hospital and it kind of scarred me i fainted in a hospital and uh, uh, i was just i've had a lot of bad experiences in hospitals so i didn't want to give birth in a hospital so i wanted to go the all-natural way bless you bless you I wanted to go the all natural way and do it at home in a bathtub. But you know, God has other plans. So everything was good. I remember, I think I was six weeks pregnant. And I remember I was bleeding a little and I went to the hospital. Cause you know, everyone's like, oh, if you bleed during pregnancy, it's a big thing and it is. So I was six weeks pregnant and I was like, okay, I already took the pregnancy test. Why am I bleeding? This isn't normal. And you know, I remember people saying, oh, it could just be like your leftover period just coming out and people saying it was no big deal. Anyways, I went with my gut feeling and I went to the hospital and they did, um, they did a whole bunch of ultrasounds and nothing came out. I think they said that I had like an ovarian cyst but that throughout the pregnancy, it would go away. Um, but yeah, everything else was normal. We saw the baby's heartbeat, she was fine. She was growing at a normal pace and everything was fine. So I was like, oh, okay. Um, they said just to monitor it and if it doesn't stop, to come back to the hospital. So I think around 13 weeks, I started bleeding again, but then it stopped. It was just like a little spotty. So then, yeah, I didn't think anything of it. Then fast forward to 20 weeks, my ultrasound to find out the gender gender of the baby and to also find out um, like if everything down there was functioning. And that is when I found out that I had placenta previa. So if you don't know what placenta previa is, it is when the placenta attaches to the cervix and it can either fully cover it or it can partially cover it. Um, this is dangerous because if you think about it, if the cervix is right here, which is the baby's way of coming out. Okay, so back to where we were before she started fussing. Um, so placenta previa, if you don't know what it is, it's when the cervix, which is the baby's way of coming out, the vagina, um, is covered. So your placenta will go right on top of it and the baby is right here, placenta is here and the cervix is here and it prevents the baby from coming out. Um, yeah, there's no way for it to come out because if the placenta comes out first before the baby, then the baby will lose the oxygen because the placenta is what gives the baby oxygen. So if you deliver the placenta first, the baby can possibly die. So um, back, I was 20 weeks and I found out I had full placenta previa. Now they told me not to worry. They said it's very common, especially being so early. They said most women actually have placenta previa, but doctors don't really talk about it because it tends to go away throughout the rest of the pregnancy and it tends to move up. So I was like, oh, okay. Of course they told me stay away from intercourse, um, don't lift heavy stuff and you know, just take it easy. So I went along taking it easy. And then I remember 
I had her gender reveal and everything was fine. Found out she was a girl. Actually, the way I found out was pretty touching, but that's another story. Um, so yeah, fast forward, I think I was about 30 weeks. And I remember going to get another ultrasound and I think this was the anatomy ultrasound, if I'm not mistaken. And I remember right before getting the probe stuck in me to see um, the baby, I remember I was bleeding. And I was like, okay, this is pretty weird, I'm bleeding. But the doctor said, oh, it's, it's spotting, that's normal. Or not the doctor, the uh, ultrasound tech said, it's fine, it's normal. So I was like, okay. And she went in and she did the anatomy scan and then everything was right. She was growing at a normal pace. She was, everything was fine and dandy. So I was like, oh, okay, yay, yay. And that was October 30th. I remember because the next day, nothing, no, nothing was, nothing was okay. So the next day came, which was October 31st. And that is when a life freaking like flashed before my eyes. So October 31st, I was at a Halloween party. My sister-in-law was having a Halloween party and I remember we dressed up. I was a, what was I? I was a, a basketball player and my belly was a ball. So I had orange paint all over my belly and my husband was a basketball player. So we get it, total text. Anyways, so I remember I was taking a picture for my sister-in-law with her baby and I went to go like, hey, like to get the baby's attention. And as soon as I went like this, I went huh, like to try to get the baby's attention and then blood just like, it just fountain out. I remember feeling like a pop and then just seeing a whole bunch of blood pour out. And I remember I was like, what the heck? There was so much blood. I, I, I didn't know what to do. So I started freaking out. I went to the bathroom, of course, and I called my midwife and I showed her a picture. And she was like, yeah, you need to go to the hospital immediately. So I went to the hospital and, hold on. Okay, so I went to the hospital and you know, they did a, um, an ultrasound and they told me that I had a partial placenta previous. So my placenta was moving up. They said it went from full to uh, partial. And I didn't bleed that day and everything was okay. They were just like, oh, okay, well, you're gonna stay overnight in the hospital and we're gonna make sure that everything is okay. So I didn't bleed and um, my cervix was still closed and the baby was, so the heart rate was good. Everything was good. So then they're like, oh, just go home. Um, again, no intercourse, you're going to stay really, really like low key. And you're not gonna do anything. I don't want you walking the dog, I don't want you doing anything. So then I was like, okay. And then I actually, I wrote down the times that everything occurred. So I have my iPad right here because I, I don't remember. Okay, so the first one was October 31st. Then a week later, November 9th came around and again, I started bleeding. It wasn't as big, it wasn't like a big burst but I started bleeding again. And I remember thinking, okay, what the heck? This is the second time I'm bleeding. They told me everything is okay, but obviously something, something's going on. So this was my second time in the hospital. And if you don't know, if you're pregnant, hold on. If you don't know, if you're pregnant and you go to the hospital three times, you get hospitalized and you cannot leave. So this was my second time at the hospital and while there, I bled two more times. But then they had a specialist come in. He was actually my favorite doctor, God bless his heart. And he did the, he, he did the, um, the ultrasound. And again, my placenta was partial and everything was okay, baby was okay. And then he was like, okay, go home and we're just going to, we're just gonna watch it. If anything happens, let me know. I'm actually gonna um, I'm gonna have some pictures inserted so you guys can see what kind of like blood it was. So if you are sensitive, I wouldn't watch this video. But if you are dealing with it and you're having the same problems, then you're not alone.
So I was at the hospital and it happened two times. And then I went home. Then November 14th came around and I remember it was like four o'clock in the morning and I woke up because I felt like I had to pee. And then right when I was getting out of bed, you know when you have your period and you feel like the, the blood come out? Well, that's what I felt. And then I was like, oh my gosh, what the heck? So I ran to the bathroom and then a big clump came out. It was kind of like a, um, you got chunk, I'll insert the picture. I was like a chunk and I called my midwife I called my doctor and I told them again I said hey I'm bleeding again at this point I guess they were you know everyone was kind of like okay what the heck so they told me well do the same thing that you've been doing if you bleed again just let us know and um, we're gonna monitor it but if it's if it's not continuous then everything's okay so that day I bled three times but then I did eventually um, it did settle down and I did not want to go to the hospital again because I was tired of getting pricked. It was just a, a horrible freaking experience. So that happened. Then November 21st came around and I bled again. It wasn't as much though and then it, it kind of like settled down so I was like, okay, I don't have to go to the hospital. However, a week later, I think November 27th came. Now this is when I was like, okay. I have I can't I can't play with this anymore and I um I was shopping at Walmart and I remember I was wearing black pants like long pants and I remember feeling that same like burst and then the I felt it come out and I was at Walmart in front of everyone and I remember I was like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh I better go immediately but for this time it just kept coming out and out and out so I felt like it wasn't stopping it wasn't just like a big burst and then a pour and then it was done no this one it was like it was going and going and going so I ran to the bathroom and there was a lady there thank God and she she saw that I was concerned and obviously I had my bump so she she knew something was going on and I was in the bathroom and I was passing a lot of blood clots and I was on the phone with my husband and I was crying to him, telling him that something's wrong. And then blood started getting everywhere. I remember it was on the floor, it was humiliating. I thought it was, I was so embarrassed. There was blood all over the floor. And then the lady, thank God, she saw, are you tired? She saw the blood on the floor. So she called the Walmart manager and then they came in and then they, cleared out the bathroom, they didn't allow anyone in there, and thankfully, like, they helped me, um, and then they are like, yes, this is not normal, something, something is up. So again, I called my midwife, because we're all thinking that this is normal, and it's just how my body is dealing with this pregnancy, and she, again, she tells me to go to the hospital. So, I go to the hospital, and I remember my doctor telling me that he wanted to give magnesium, and I remember they wanted to give me magnesium sulfate and I looked up the causes of magnesium sulfate in a pregnancy and they said that it can make the baby come out with broken bones, it can lead to severe brain damage and all this stuff. So I was like, okay, no, obviously I wanted to go the natural route. Why am I gonna freaking do all this to my baby? I don't wanna jeopardize her even more. Are you falling asleep? So, I declined the magnesium and then there was a big ordeal with the doctor so I didn't feel comfortable so then I went to another hospital. I thought to myself, okay, well obviously I'm going to be hospitalized, this is my third time in a hospital, um, I might as well go to the best hospital in the state. So I went to a good hospital, I'm not going to name it because I don't know if I can get in trouble, I don't know. Anyway, so I went to the best hospital of the area and they did the ultrasound, they did the scan, they did everything, and everything was normal. They told me that my placenta actually, they told me that it wasn't a placenta. They said that it could have been a, been a blood clot, and I was like, okay, so then it should pass, just like how it's been. But then, um, 
So then they put me in a room upstairs because we went pretty late. So they put me in a room upstairs and I was waiting for the doctor to tell me like what's gonna happen. And I remember the doctor came upstairs the next day and told me that I was gonna do an emergency C-section. And she was only, I think like 33 weeks, 33 or 35 weeks at this time. And I remember saying to myself, okay, she obviously, she's not done growing. She still has a lot of development that she needs to do. And the doctor was like, oh yeah, we're gonna do a, um, an emergency C-section tomorrow, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, okay, can you tell me like what, what I have, what is going on with my baby? And the doctor was like, oh, I haven't read your uh, report yet, but from what I'm hearing, this is not a matter, blah, blah, blah. We were gonna do an emergency C-section right now. And I called my midwife and I was like crying to her and I told her, I was like, I don't know what to do. Everyone's telling me different things. No one knows what, exactly what's going on. People are telling me that it's a cyst. People are telling me that it's a placenta previa. I need to know what's going on. I need to know what to do. And she told me, what she tell me? She told me not to listen to that doctor because we've been dealing with this. So um, she told me, to go do like everything that we were doing before so to rest and to just watch out for it because my body has been dealing with this before so i do that and um december 12th came around and i bled again so then i was like okay okay i can't play with this i was going to a specialist i was I had three different doctors on my case. No, everyone was unsure what was on, going on with me. People, it was just the scariest thing. I didn't know what to do. It was scary that the doctors didn't know what to do. I remember my doctor telling my mom that he was scared with this whole situation because he doesn't know what, what we're dealing with. And I remember I, it was just so scary. I remember crying so much. I was thinking I was being punished. I remember, I don't, it was just a very, very scary, very, very scary time. And I remember um, the doctor telling my mom that if we don't keep the baby in to at least 38 weeks, that she can have um, cerebral palsy or she can have a whole bunch of disorders. So we want to keep her in as much as we can. But if I bleed again, then we have to do an emergency C-section and she's going to have to stay in the NICU. Thankfully, I didn't bleed though until she was, no, not until. Thankfully, I didn't bleed again. And at this time, I was 36 weeks, I believe. And then they kept me in for a week. And then exactly at 38 weeks, which was November, I mean November, December 22nd, I was scheduled for a C-section. And that is when I had my baby. So, yes. Um... They went, they did a C-section. That was the scariest freaking moment of my life too. Did not want a C-section, did not want it at all, but God had bigger plans. So yeah, my, uh, my placenta went into um, pathology to go figure out what was wrong with it. I actually have some pictures. I'll insert them right now. Um, so that's my placenta and um, as you can see at the bottom it's calcified and that means that that part of the placenta wasn't getting oxygen but what's weird is I think half of your placenta can be missing and it'll still function right so I don't know I don't know what was going on with my placenta we still don't know to this day we still don't know what could have happened but thank god that my baby was delivered safe and she's growing at a steady rate and yeah, she's the love of my life and I'm just so thankful that God protected her during the storm. Um, yeah, so again, I just want you guys to know that if you are dealing with a similar problem, um, my advice is go to the hospital, even if you don't want to, they know best. And remember you have your rights, so you can decline 
like if you don't want the magnesium and if you don't want um, a steroid shot and all this stuff but better safe than sorry um so yeah again this is just to let you know that you're not alone and you know other people go through it and god has a purpose god has a purpose for you and it's all in his hands so if he wants you to have your baby it's gonna happen and if not then god god had other plans but um yeah that is all for this video if you guys have any comments or concerns just leave them in the comments below and i'll try my hardest to get back to them um or if you have any questions regarding placenta previa um i could probably go into more detail with my experience and probably um probably try to help you um so yeah that's all for today's video thank you for watching i hope you have a blessed day okay bye